it's Kendra and Dustin and we are back with another episode of Little Red Memories. Previously, if you haven't watched the other episodes, you should probably go do that. But if you have and you're caught up, good job. You did your homework. Or you've been watching this whole time, which also A++. But basically, we're... Are we still in the murder room? No, we hid. We went to the storage room, right? Yes. Yes, we're in the storage room. Carnation left with Hunter to distract him. And now we need to do, I'm assuming, some kind of puzzle? Well, we got the last pipe. Yes, we need to go to the pipe room. And then there's whatever's going on with the rat holes, which will be interesting. I don't think we can interact with them. But I feel like we should be able to. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway... That's what we're doing. We're going to the pipe room. We're going to put in the pipes and basically see what happens because we're trying to find the flower. We got to place the shards and then we got to get the heck out of here. So, here we go. Uh, oh yeah, it's just me. So sad. Okay, let me check. Wow. Okay, we got four shards. Which is what we need, right? Yeah. And then three pipes. A vertical, a horizontal, and a weird one. Now, let's go look. Okay, that makes sense. They're staring. Do you think I just interact with it? I think so. Ah, we put the vertical pipe in its place. Nice. We put the horizontal pipe in its place. How does Bonnie reach that? Uh, I'm a bunny. I jump. <laughs> Mad hops. Yes. <laughs> you put the weirdly shaped pipe in its place. Did that unlock the door, though? Maybe. Oh, it's locked tight. Okay. Yeah, but the, the thing on the side. This? Yeah. No. Do I need to interact with the pipe? Maybe. Oh, there's a thing there, yeah. Ah, there's a button. Okay, press it? Yeah. You heard a click. Uh, for the pipe? Uh, I'm guessing the door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa. What is this place? A lab? A laboratory. Ooh. Sink doesn't work. What is this? Strange elixirs. They smell like something's inside of them. But wait, they smell like something inside of them is rotting. Okay. Oh, the same. That, oh, okay. That one looks like a syringe. That one looks like a, what is that called? Beaker? Beaker. And then I don't know what this looks like. Uh, those look like the ooze from the ooze <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> ooze. Okay, what is this? Files? Move on Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Various tools that are neatly placed on the table. I would like to read the files. They look like files. Fine. Do you think I can look outside? Probably not. But I could reach the pipes. Does that make sense? No. All right. Flower, come with me. Bonnie's just not concerned with what's outside. I suppose. Priorities. This is it. I don't know where Carnation or Hunter are, but I have to keep going. <gasps> Touch the flower. Yes? I don't, I don't have any reason not to. I thought we were gonna take it with us, but okay. Oh. Ooh, cutscene. Hmm, is something the matter, Hunter? I should have known you were lying to me. Lying? No, that's wrong. My dear, wait, my, whatever do you mean? I'm taking you to her right now. You don't know where this is, do you? I feel like I'm not doing his voice right, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Is it too high? 
Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. This road is takes us. Um, this road takes us directly to Bonnie's grandmother's house. Mm. The last place she would ever want to go. Ah! I don't have time for this. There's only one place she could be. He's taking something out of his pocket. A knife? Oh! Wait. Is that one of my flowers? Oh no! We both teleported! Damn it. He's gone. I have to find the other flower. Ooh. Should I leave? Yeah. Save? Yeah. So wait. Are they in the real world or are they in the is he in the parallel now? With he would me? be in the parallel now. Okay, I was in the real world. He was in the real world. Real world. Now we're here. Yeah. Somewhere he's here. Okay. Should I talk to, uh... I mean, you can try. Gary? Hello, Ed. Do you want any garbage? Um, no, thank you. I, I'm good. I see. Uh... Did we ask these? I think sure uh, that's the only one I wouldn't be sure about. Should I ask? Yeah. Do you need anything else? Oh no, yes. Oh yeah, put a rat for me. We never did that. Because there aren't any rats. We tried to pet a rat. Should I put the shards down? Uh. I mean, that's what we were supposed to do. Yeah. Did you save? Yeah, just now. I mean, I can do it again. This one, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just in case. All right, shard time. Uh, no. Oh no. We should go in order if we're gonna put them. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it deciphers which ones which for me. Well, yeah, that's why it said Hunter Shards, and that was the last one we got. Got it, okay. And so I said no. <laughs> Place down. Dachiana. Thank you. Yes. Place the shards on the table. Whoa, I didn't know we were going to get a flashback. Is this an old lady? This is our grandmother. She's been getting sicker and sicker. All of my attempts to save her were for nothing. She couldn't have been talked out of it. The rage in my heart always bubbles over whenever I remember that man. That monster. Oh. Wait, was it what that? What? Okay. Did to my precious baby. Giving her heartache, giving her trauma, giving her a child. So my dad? Well, remember, the, I believe we were told before that our mother came home right, pregnant. Right, right, right. And alone. Right. Maybe even my dad's dead. You don't know, Grandma? Well, it sounds like she does know who yeah. he is. <laughs> Actually. I was under the impression that they didn't know. Right. <laughs> even then, my beloved daughter was so excited to have you. You could see it in her eyes. Those beautiful eyes that glistened with hope whenever she spoke. I gave up everything for this family. My father never approved of me marrying a simple ba baker? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> so I had to cut them off. We struggled financially in this small town for years. But to us, we always thought it would be worth it. When uh, we had our beloved daughter, truly was worth it. Those years raising her were the most precious years of my entire life. Seeing that angel's smile filled me with nothing but the truest sense of satisfaction and love. She was far too young to be dealing with this. It's not fair. It's not fair to her at all. When you come al came along, she went away. 
birth was successful, but she passed on. It's not fair. My husband and I were filled with so much grief, and taking you, care of you on top of it only built up stress. Wait, is she talking to me? I th the ones that weren't in parentheses would imply she was talking to someone. Uh -huh. Whereas these are in parentheses, which, which, which usually implies it's in her head. One day, my husband walked into the woods and never returned home. The locals came and told me they found his body hanging on one of the tallest trees in the forest. And... They lost everything within the span of a month. Oh, it's little Bonnie. Everything but you. To others in my situation, they would cling to you like some sort of last piece of someone departed. Like something precious that had to be protected at all costs. But to me, all you were was a reminder of what I had lost. As you grew up, you looked more and more like her. You had the same eyes. Except yours felt like a cheap copy of the beautiful painting, while hers had all of the original love and care of the artist had seen with every brush stroke. I hated it. I couldn't. You get very poetic in these insults. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Cheese, Grandma. Okay, you don't like me. <laughs> I hated it. I couldn't stand looking at you. It was far too painful. Despite the burden I had to, I now had to carry, I did my best to provide you with clothes and food. The least you could do was to deliver was the delivery service your grandfather used to provide before he. At least you were a diligent delivery girl. I'll give you that. That was perhaps your own only good quality. She's a terrible person. Like I understand grief. I get that. A hundred percent. But you don't get to take it out on an innocent child who didn't even choose to be born. Like, if you can't handle raising her, then maybe it'd be better to, I don't know, put her up for adoption or, I don't know, something. Don't just raise her and be like, well, at least I fed you. Like, no! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My entire life was thrown away in an instant. The second I was left behind with you, it felt like I was already dying. Wow! Thanks, Grandma! <laughs> you already knew that, yeah, that her grandmother hated her. I know, but I didn't know I had to listen to her monologue. <laughs> I truly hate you. And I'm never going to pretend like I don't. You took everything from me. No, actually, Bonnie didn't. The diary ends here. Or there. Oh. Bonnie, where did you run off to? What? What are you? You! You're not supposed to go in my room and you know it, young lady! What on earth are you doing in here, anyways? Uh, I'm sorry, Granny. I couldn't find you downstairs, so I thought. You wretched girl! You were snooping through my things! I I'm sorry, I just. Sorry isn't good enough. If you really cared, you would have thought twice before coming in here in the first place. You're nothing but a oh my gosh. You're nothing but a <laughs> I'm getting so heated right now. <laughs> You're nothing but a liar trying to act all innocent. I know how you work. No, I was just so hungry. I, I wanted to, to find you. I wanted to know if, if I could have something to eat. Excuses, excuses. You knew dinner would be ready soon, so you could have just had- oh, wait. So you should have had no reason to come find me. I've done everything for you, and this is how you repay me? By going through my things and disobeying my rules? I'll make you feel sorry. No dinner tonight! Lying, rotten girls like you don't deserve it! Now get out! Go to your room! That's abuse. <laughs> Everything here is abuse. I can't even have my own room to myself. She has to infiltrate every part of my life. 
That girl drives me insane. That feeling is mutual, Grandma! Yeah, I'm so sorry, Bunny. I... I remember that. I really wasn't lying. I didn't know how to cook at the time, and she'd forgotten to give me lunch. But she never believed me. I suppose I did read her diary so I can understand her frustration. No, Bunny! That's not true! That's not healthy! Uh, well, I think it's best I get a move on now. What's done is done, after all. No, this is called trauma, and you need to process it. Let's go save real quick, and then maybe Please. take a look Wait, around. Can I... I'm kind of scared to go up here now that I placed a shard. <laughs> uh, this one, yes? Yeah. Should I go see, see if, if Irene... See different? Here? <gasps> she has moved. I don't want her to show you anything. <laughs> Should I check down here? Uh, or I mean, the hatch? try. Oh. Locked. Anything different? Hats are still here. Hats are still here. Locked. Well. Anything. This way is Did we ever way. check the book on this side of the what book? parallel? What book? The one that in the real world it's like, you know, keeping books in the entryway can make a house seem. If we go back that way to the entryway. Ah! The, the yeah. green one. Ah. There's an array of books. Would you like to read one? Yes. Don't trust the clock. This whole time we've never checked this. <laughs> what does that mean? This clock? The clock isn't moving forward. Oh. No? Yes. Yeah? You hit no. Oh, well, she says, I have a feeling that would be a bad idea. Should I do it anyways? Yeah, I mean, we did just save, right? We did just save, yes. Yes. Ah, murder! I don't think the clock likes being touched without warning. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> <laughs> but it's murder! Okay, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I get it. Don't touch the clock. Okay, so we could go to the left. Well, so see, or we could keep placing the. Shots. We could go talk to Irene and see if she says anything different. Okay. Just going into the room, I know, is what gets us the. Hi, Irene. The good ending. See, I moved just like you asked. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have more admiring to do. Should I ask the hats what's up? I guess. Last time I think I talked to them was when Hunter was with me. Do I want to talk to the fedora man? No. Am I going to talk to the fedora man? Yes. Uh, that's the same, yeah. right? These are the same? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, okay, this is all the same. Okay. <laughs> Next shards. Shards, 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 shards. So this should be Bonnie's shards, I think? Yeah. Ooh, yes. Flashback! Who are these people? Diary. I guess I should read in Bonnie's voice? Yeah. <clears throat> Is this I was at Hunter's what? family? <gasps> what? But who are the blondes? It weren't his parents lighter haired than the two of them? I don't remember. I think they were. Both the parents were lighter haired Maybe. compared to the uh, children. <laughs> <clears throat> I was out with grandmother in town and I saw the other kids had more family members than we do. 
I asked Granny what. Oh, <laughs> I asked Granny why her family isn't bigger like theirs are. I don't have a mommy and daddy. Why don't I have a mommy and daddy too? I hate her grandmother. I hate her with a passion, and I don't toss around hate lightly. She's rude. And doesn't deserve to be a grandma. Anyway. <clears throat> she said that I killed my mommy and grandfather and daddy never wanted me in the first place. I feel bad. I didn't know that. But I'm happy I still have granny. Why? You're too precious! She gives me yummy food and lets me play outside as long as I want. Because she doesn't want to be around you! <laughs> That's neglect! Ah! <laughs> I love Granny so much, and even if I mess up a lot, she still loves me too. Sometimes I hear Granny crying in her room. I don't like when it when she's upset or sad. I switch those. I want to be an extra good kid so I can make Granny happy. Then we can be a joyful family together and live happily ever after. This is depressing. This is depressing. This is depressing. <laughs> this is depressing. This is my depressing dance because I'm sad. <clears throat> I'm done with all of the deliveries just in time, too. Granny will be so happy. Oh, pretty flowers. Maybe I could bring Granny a beautiful bunch of flowers. I'm sure she would love it. Grandmother, look! Look what I... I don't remember Grandma's voice. <laughs> Why are you so late? It's nearly sundown. Don't tell me you were slacking on your deliveries. Huh? No, I wasn't. They're all done, just like you told me. What is this then? Flowers? You were slacking off! Even worse, you strayed off the path to pick these? The one thing I told you not to do. But... Uh... But I... Your lies and excuses won't work on me. I couldn't care less about how late you are on a normal day, but you have responsibilities, you know. Your grandfather would be very disappointed in you, throwing his legacy to in the dirt. Do you want him to suffer in his grave, Bonnie? And furthermore, you know what happens to little girls who stray off of the path. Do you hate me that much that you'd rather get lost in the woods? Or worse? Well, that's fine. If I'm such a bad grandmother, then I'll go in those woods and starve for all I care. Uh, Granny, wait, I mean, two, please. I'm so sorry I didn't mean. I just wanted to get you flowers. Please unlock the door. It, it's cold. Please let me in. I won't stray from the path again, I promise. Her grandmother sucks. I hate her grandma so much. This is a depressing song. Cause I'm sad. Granny never did let me back inside that night. All of the doors and windows were locked tight. Even when the rain started pouring down, she wouldn't let me in. She only yelled and screamed more about the noise I was making. I remember thinking about all the storybooks I read as a child. The ones about the princesses and grave danger, danger who ended up getting saved by a handsome prince. Every time I got locked out or forbidden from eating, every time I was screamed at, beaten, or neglected, I couldn't help but think, why won't somebody save me too? Why wouldn't anybody help me? Please, someone, anyone, save me. I... I don't want to remember this anymore. Please, please make it stop. Please, I'll do anything, just no more. I already have to remember too many horrible things. I don't... don't make me remember anymore. Please. Whoa. What? Should I save? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a child's diary, your old diary to be specific. 
Oh, I can't save. What do I do? Go to the mirror, I guess. It's the only other thing in the room. <laughs> Jump into the mirror. Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Mixing <gasps> fairy tales, but <laughs> sure. Oh, it's you. Can't you go away already? I'm tired of being connected to you. I hate you. I hate you so much. And if it weren't for you, grand or mother and grandfather, even grandmother would still be alive. I, I know. I, I'm so sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. This is all your fault. Why is it my fault? I never asked to be born. I never asked to be the start of a horrible chain reaction. If it were up to me, I would have stopped my own birth so that they could all have been happy. But I can't control any of that. Then, why do I hate you so much? Why do I get this sinking feeling in my gut whenever I look at you? Why does the thought of you make me so nauseous? Whenever I think about it, it feels like I can't breathe. Like I'm suffocating and no one will come help. No one will. It's not fair. I just want my mother. I want... Oh, I pushed it too fast. What was it? A happy family, I think? Uh, like everyone else or something, something like, like that? Something like that. I, I, I would... Someone to love me. Someone who can be proud of me. <laughs> I can't really do a fake cry. Mother. Grandfather. Hunter. I just want them all to hug me and tell me everything's gonna be alright. But... That would never happen. <laughs> well, I know my hugs aren't as good as Hunter's, but... Oh my god. Oh, it was little me? Or is it maybe she's just I, like... Not, uh, maybe she's just it like... It could be either. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the point is, <laughs> hugging herself. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so sad, but also like healing, but like sad. <laughs> this is like inside out, but like more intense. Everything will be okay, Bonnie. Because worst case scenario, even if the whole world feels like it's up against you, you will always have me. I know you hate me. Part of me hates you, too. But... We can get through this. Maybe not right now, but... Someday... Everything will be okay. Guess how I feel on the inside. <laughs> this is so... I know. It really, really hurts. But... That's why I'm still here in the parallel. I want to stop the hurting for us both. <laughs> Do you promise? I promise. This is so sad. <laughs> Thank you. Ah! <laughs> this is so sad. I'll try at least. I don't want to suffer anymore. Dot is the end of today's app. I am a very upset. I'm like, I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I was pissed because of grandma. She sucks. And if anyone out there has somebody like that in their lives, you deserve better. I'm saying that now loud and clear, but this is so like it's like the happy sad you know because it's like oh my gosh this is so depressing but then she's like healing kind of along the way which is really nice but it's also like ah you deserve so much more my emotions I'm kind of depressed <laughs> how are you doing oh. this is such a good story <laughs> anyway Oh man, I was, I don't, it almost felt like an ending, didn't it? 
Kind of. I mean... I almost thought that it was somehow going to end there. <laughs> but then I was like, that doesn't make sense. You have no. to place, like, two more people's memories <laughs> and live through them. Yeah. But that was, like, I feel like the, the most intense so far. So poor little Bonnie. I feel like Hunter's memories are going to be pretty intense Weird. Also. They're going to be weird, I feel like. Because I feel like his family was, like, messed up or something. I feel like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, his dad gives me vibes. Because Hunter doesn't like his dad. Yeah. And that's Hunter. <laughs> the guy who seems like he's probably okay with killing... Well, he is okay with killing people. Yeah. So... What's his dad do? I don't know, but we're going to find out. Well, his whole family's also dead, so... That's true, too. <laughs> that may have something to do with it. Yeah. Unless he killed them. Who? Hunter. I doubt it. I don't see him the killing he, his sister. The way he talked about his mom and his sister. Yeah, he liked them. Uh, if so... anything, I got something the dad did. Yeah, me was... too. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. But my gosh, the writing. Oh, chef's kiss. This is so good. This is giving me, like, uh, very much giving me now care Scarecrow. Crow Scare. Crow Scare, thank you. Vibes. If you know, you know. You know what I mean? That yeah. whole, like, portion of it. Yeah, it sucks we got the good ending first. Did we get the good ending? Oh, wait, for this one? No. Oh, I was like, that was a good ending? No. Oh. <laughs> for? For Crow Scare. Oh, okay. Because we, we never went back and got the bad ending. Oh. I forgot about that. Maybe we'll have to do that. Eh, that's future Kendra's you, you didn't want to at yeah. the time. You know, like, I don't want to ruin the happy ending. This is why now we try to purposely get the bad endings first. Because <laughs> we get them out of the way and then we end on a happy note. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful writing. I think that this is, I don't know. I love stories. Like, I love the way that stories are able to take, like, a very difficult topic and translate it into, like, something that's very, like digestible and like also but still stay true to the original topic that people who can like relate to certain themes are like oh my gosh oh you know so hats off to you this is smile straw bunny right yeah hats off to you and we're not even done yet we still have two more endings to get because this isn't even the end it felt like one to be honest it felt like a good ending but we got two more shards we gotta place and then go out the front doors and who knows what even happens then so Stay tuned for that. We got some more episodes coming. Not sure how many. Because I'm not sure how long they're going to be. I feel like... Is it going to be like one after the other once we get there? Maybe. Kind of. Okay. Okay. So, we at least have one more episode, if not more. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But, obviously, if you want to check guessing... out this game, link in the description below. Check it out. Show Smile Straw Bunny some yeah, love. If you have any comments or questions or even recommendations, or maybe, hey, you were like, Kendra, I hate the grandma too. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Feel free to come over and talk with us live. We do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you ever want to say hi, pop in, discuss this game, pretty much any game, honestly, not even the ones that we stream, because we don't stream this specific game, but you can come say hi, or feel free to just drop it in the comments down below. That is totally fine, too. Uh, we upload all of our VODs over to YouTube, so you can always watch them there, too, but, or you can just stay, you know, just stay on YouTube the whole time. If you like this game, like I said, this is giving me a uh, crow scare. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I said it right. Vibes. Check that one out, especially if this style is your thing. Also, though, if, like, kind of, like, puzzle mystery games, Anne's great. Uh, Midnight Train is great. We have a lot of different games that you can check out. And I do recommend all of them because they're fantastic. And I think we're pretty freaking funny. Yes. Uh, oh, if you want a sneak peek of the various games before hopping in, you can always go to our TikTok, YouTube shorts, or Instagram reels just to get a little taste before hopping into a series. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I talked a lot today. It's because of that stupid grandma. Anyway. <laughs> like, comment. Doesn't deserve the cool name. Subscribe. What, grandma? No. Oh, duh. Dachiana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever you feel like doing. Ditch your grandmas if they're jerks. And I will see you guys 
in the next episode. Bye-bye!